By now, everyone has seen PDFs. The format's so popular, it's become the standard for sharing documents electronically, especially among those who need to be sure that their documents aren't being changed in any way. PDF stands for Portable Document Format and was invented by Adobe as part of their Acrobat package. It was created initially as a tool for desktop publishers who wanted to be sure that another person's computer settings didn't make a mess of their layouts. To be able to read all the files, PCs either come with Acrobat Reader bundled or can be downloaded for free at adobe.com. Acrobat Reader is the standard for reading PDF files on PCs. You can also buy a copy of the Acrobat program, but if you only use it once in a while, you might want to try one of these less expensive options. PDF Creator, Cute PDF, and Do PDF Free have developed inexpensive or even free programs that do very similar things to Acrobat. The programs work well with Windows Vista and 32 or 64 bit, and with Windows XP and Windows 2003 Server. Let's start with PDF Creator. This is not a free program, but it's an inexpensive option that works well within your Windows applications, which makes it simple to use. First, go to the website, pdfcreator.com, and click the download button. Once it's downloaded and you're ready to create a PDF, simply go to the File menu and here select Print. From there, you can select the printer you want to use, but we're not going to use a printer, we're going to use the PDF Creator. What you do here now is hit PDF Creator as one of the options. Once you choose it, another window will open to let you save your document. It's not really printing it, it's saving it to wherever you want on your desktop or on your hard drive. With PDF Creator, you can combine multiple file formats into one PDF document. You can choose a PowerPoint slide, Word document, even a spreadsheet. You can also lock down your files so no one can print it or even copy it. Or if you want them to be able to print it or copy it, you can do that too. PDF Creator is about 60 bucks for a lifetime license, and if you want a cheaper one, you can get a one-year or one-month license. Check out their website to try out the software. The next one we're going to have a look at is called Cute PDF. This one's actually a free PDF writing tool. Once you've downloaded it, it'll install itself on your machine just like any other program, and it'll also work like that printer option in the file menu that we saw with the last program. Cute PDF is available to download and to buy. The writer version is free and the professional version costs a bit of money. But uh, with the writer version, you can create perfectly usable PDFs every time. The inexpensive pro version does all of this and lets you add comments, security, fillable forms, headers and footers. You can even create booklets, rearrange pages, and tons more. And to buy it, it's only around 50 bucks. So it's also a good option. Cute PDF works with virtually any program application that you can print from, and it'll even work with screenshots. Visit their website at cutepdf.com to download the free version or to buy the pro version. The last one we're going to have a look at is called Do PDF, and this one's actually free as well. It also embeds itself into your Windows programs and works like another printer in the file menu. You can choose the print resolution from 72 DPI all the way to 2400 DPI, which stands for dots per inch, depending on what the document is or what you want to do with it. You also have the option to print to a number of paper sizes, even custom sizes. The PDF files you produce are searchable, and search engines can access the text to index it with the rest of your applications. It even starts a PDF reader so you can check your PDFs right away. You can download DoPDF from DoPDF.com. If in your business you share any information online, it's essential that you have a way to make PDF files and to do it securely. So make sure you check out these options, it might be all you need.